Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now an option play on second down. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bears are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And it makes the score 21 to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Dalvin Cook taking the field for the Vikings' next possession. He's in a zone, second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. From the 36, Cousins open here, Adam Thielen. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Cousins now from the 50. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. And the Vikings sit 5-3 now on the year. And they come in playing some pretty decent football, 5-3 over their last eight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Third down, Cousins. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw his fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Here's the option going left on second down. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge game, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained, and in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. All run 
Falcons on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Here's the option. Running right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Here's Fields. It's hauled in by Hardy. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Now Fields going to keep it running left. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Vikings pick up the football. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand. Put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Cousins from the gun on third. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Gano's kick is good. And the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score. I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 96 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A shotgun snap, Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Right there, 54, right there, right there. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. This is really, really difficult for teams to coach because you love the extra effort, right? When he break a yeah, couple broke, of tackles, I mean, tackles. I mean, this, he was really trying to gain the extra yardage, but you also have to have an idea that people are going to come up behind you from the side trying to take care of the ball while you're trying to get extra effort. Sometimes you have to know when to say when and maybe just go down. A running on first down is Cook, but he didn't find much there, calling a gain of three, second down. 
Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. That's a quick slant. He finds Adam Thielen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away. Touchdown, Vikings! Irv Smith Jr., 45 yards. And the Vikings take a three-touchdown lead. Gano the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's polished off by a Viking score. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. From the gun on third down, Fields. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was that three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That's tremendous field position. 